welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a great side dish for you for some of those holiday parties you're going to be throwing. We've got our hands on some beautiful Brussels sprouts here. Uh, you can see we've got two different kinds. Uh, we've got green and purple. Those purple have a great color on them. Uh, this is a dish that a lot of people tend to really dislike. I feel like that's because they haven't had them right. Uh, largely they are overcooked and they're bitter, so we're going to show you a really nice way. So here we go. So we're just starting with our Brussels sprouts. We have some chopped walnuts here. And we're also going to use a shallot in there as well. So This is pretty simple. Uh, we're going to start by cutting the bottoms off these uh, Brussels sprouts. You do want to take off some of those outside leaves. Um, frequently they are a little tough, um, a little dried out, kind of bitter. Uh, you want the, uh, the nice tender ones on the inside. So we're going to peel some of these just to take some of that, uh, those outside ones off. Um, we did find that uh, these green ones, uh, nice and sort of tightly wound, but we had to be a little more careful with these uh, with these purple ones because they were actually a little looser, so they really came apart quite easily. Uh, but uh, yeah, you just want to give them a little little peel, make sure they're nice and clean, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, give them a little little chop here, we're going to chiffonade these, so we're just going to cut them in half and then give them a very fine little chop. And this uh, sort of gives you a little bit of the texture of a very, very miniature coleslaw. Get rid of that root. And we're just going to cut those in half. As you can see, just a really nice little fine chop. You can see the texture on the inside of those purple ones, just amazing. So this does a couple of things. Number one, it uh, makes it quite tender because they're small, and uh, it also makes them fluff up quite a lot. So a little bit goes a long way for this. Uh, just a few will really um, fluff up a lot into the pan into uh, quite a sizable side dish. There we go. So just finishing the uh, chiffonade here on these Brussels sprouts. And there we go. So that's all going into the bowl. And then we're going to take our shallot. And uh, we're just going to cook this in with the uh, with the Brussels sprouts. Now we've got those cut very, very finely. So we're also going to make sure that our shallot is cut pretty finely as well. So nice, thin, thin slices on the shallot as well. Of course, you're going to need a very sharp knife for this. Make sure your kitchen knife is extremely sharp and it'll allow you to have those beautiful thin uh, perfect slices. Just use your knuckle as the guide as you see Chef Caleb here. And you don't want to use the root so you can get rid of the root part. So we're going to put some butter into our pan. You can also use bacon grease for this. Uh, if you want to keep it vegan, you can also use uh, olive oil or vegetable oil. And we're just going to put all of our uh, veggies into the pan here. So the all of the chiffonaded um, Brussels sprouts, as well as the shallots, a nice sprinkle of salt in there. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper as well. And give it a little, tw a little flip there, make sure that... Uh, you get a little bit of the butter on there. And we're also going to put our walnuts in. Now we, we do want to toast them a little bit, so make sure you make a little space for them. We're just going to let that cook for a little while. The uh, Brussels sprouts are going to uh, soften up a little bit, and those, those walnuts are just going to uh, toast on the heat a little bit there as well. So you can see we just sprinkled a little dash of actually vermouth in there. We love vermouth as a seasoning. And that's it. Once it's uh, once it's hot and everything's uh, a little bit wilted in there, those those walnuts have a nice toasty aroma to them. It's done. That's that's the whole dish. A little bit of salt, some uh, some butter or oil, uh, a little dash of you can use vermouth. We also use lemon juice sometimes. Just something uh, tart at the end really brightens up all the flavors in there. 
And that's it. You have this beautiful side dish to go with uh, any of your beautiful roasted foods for holiday meals or anything like that. Uh, it's very versatile. And uh, yeah, well, if you enjoyed this, we uh, uh, I do invite you to please like and subscribe. If you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.